Good morning all my gorgeous subscribers, I hope you're all well. It is 8.30, got Magic UK on the radio, I bet them smooth jams. Today is peak week day three, we are three days out from the show, hump day as they call it. Today is a relatively high carbohydrate day, it is 350 grams. A couple of people commented on the video saying why have you gone for like a high carb approach so early in the week. And that's just because me and my coach both feel that, and from Lane Norton's past experience as well, which for him worked very well, that doing the basic bodybuilding thing of cutting all water, cutting sodium and then loading up on the Friday night or Saturday is, is something that, I don't know, there's some people say about spillover effect and things like that so I like to gradually increase my carbs throughout the week. Saturday and Sunday that's just gone, I had relatively low carbohydrate days, almost like a sort of depleted days but they, were, they weren't fully depleted, they were only 100 grams per day. That allowed me enough just to drop glycogen stores in order to fill up for the week. I'm just going on what my coach says and it's working. I'm responding very well to carbs such as white rice and uh, jacket potatoes. Today I've got no weightlifting. It is just my 45 minutes fasted cardio which I've just done. I'm off to work in a bit. I've already prepped my meals that I showed you last night for today and I'll film anything that I thought is necessary for you lot so I shall see you soon. A quick one. Sorry about yesterday's upload. It was um, only like 18 seconds long but the real video is three and a half minutes so I'm just uploading that now. I don't know why I only uploaded this section, but um, yeah, yesterday's video up being the next, well, it's already up, so fucking watch it. Right, sub subscriber question. Could you do something about carb backloading? Well, yeah, sure, bro. Basically, without getting too much into the science aspect of it, carb backloading was created by this man, John Kiefer, who looks like he could turn into the Hulk at any given second. The basic premise of it, without getting too much into the science part of it, is spending the majority of your day leading up to training, just having bits of fucking rabbit food and protein, train, then have a massive carb up at night time. Going on John Kiefer's own website and his word, it says how to backload. Point number one, for 10 days, cap your carb intake at 30 grams per day. This basically means feel like absolute dog shit and have no energy for 10 days. Point number two, on the evening of the 10th day, eat a ton of carbs. Beef carbs must be high glycemic, the insulin driving kind. Point number three, repeat backload on the days you train. The main idea about carb backloading is taking into consideration the fluctuations in insulin sensitivity throughout the day. Kiefer has suggested that consuming carbohydrates in the morning is almost a bad thing because insulin sensitivity is higher, which is a good thing because obviously you'll have a larger uptake of glucose. However, there may be an issue of storing fat. This is why Kiefer suggests consuming the, the majority of your carbohydrates at night time, supposedly taking advantage of the reduced insulin sensitivity, thus creating no fat gain. Now the good thing about carb backloading is it shits on all their bodybuilding myths and bro science that you can't have carbs after six. Another good thing is for the people that like to eat like shit and will still stay lean at the same time really. I see a lot of people nowadays that don't have an appetite at breakfast and they're not very very hungry at lunchtime but they say when it comes to the evening time they're starving. So it is a good method of diet for these people. Now are there any cons regarding carb back loading? Kiefer likes to cherry pick certain studies in order to make the whole carb back loading method seem very appealing. Now that is essentially a bad thing. Every diet on the market seems to cherry pick certain studies to make people go wow this shit must fucking work. Then. But the whole premise surrounding carbohydrates and insulin sensitivity is almost like a scare tactic. It makes people get out of touch of food because they don't want to stay. They don't. They want to stay clear of carbs during the day and obviously have the majority of them in the evening time. I very much agree on Alan Aragon and La McDonald's opinion of carb backloading. Is that it's just another diet, really? But what's wrong with just going in a calorie deficit, exercising, and having the majority of your carbohydrates spread throughout the day? There's a nice graph here that's done by James Krieger that explains the whole fat and insulin sensitivity and carbohydrate method after training, etc. It just shows that between meals and during sleep, when fat is lost, fat balance will be zero over a 24 hour period if energy intake matches energy, energy expenditure. Below in the description box is a write up by Joseph Agu, who's a very good nutritionist, and he explains carb backloading the pros and cons very intricately. So check that out if you've got time for a little read. But there you go, mate. That is just my take and my personal experience from using carb backloading. I did it personally when I was doing my holiday cut and it worked well for me. My video's up on, on YouTube if you fancy taking a look at it. But other than that, that's carb backloading for you.